Today, a Latino civil rights organization is pushing back against the actions of the office of the Texas Attorney General following raids on some of its members. It comes a scrutiny over the elections and their accuracy is ramping up, but there are questions over the validity of those concerns. Victor Jacobo joining us live from the newsroom. Victor, a lot going on over the last few days over this issue. What's the latest today? Yeah, Rick and Jason, today the League of United Latin American Citizens, or LULAC, announced it was calling for a federal investigation into searches that were directed by Attorney General Ken Paxson. LULAC says some of the members who were searched earlier this month were people in their 80s. Some of the counties those searches happened in occurred in Frio, Atascosa, and Bear Counties. They say they want the FBI and U.S. Department of Justice to look into the Attorney General's office actions. It comes as the AG and other state Republican leaders have pushed concerns and claims of voter integrity issues. KHRU spoke with LULAC leaders today who say they are concerned there is little concrete evidence of widespread voter issues. That this is a political maneuver because of the timing of it, it's only 70 days before the presidential election. They have been investigating these allegations of voter fraud for two years. And so why, why uh, go after them now? So it's, it seems very, very strategically and politically motivated. Now, Lulek says it is not aware of the specifics of the allegations just yet, but a release from Attorney General Ken Paxson's office said the searches were part of allegations regarding electric, election fraud and vote harvesting that his office says happened during the 2022 election and that the investigation provided sufficient evidence to obtain search warrants to continue that investigation. Now, the issue of election integrity was part of the discussion at the state capitol today during a committee hearing coming up at 5 o'clock here from the state's election director over how confident they feel about the state's election system. In the newsroom, Victor Jacobo, KHU, 11 News.